It's not just a sheep. It's the origin of a billion-dollar fashion empire. Sheep's wool, seemingly just a soft byproduct from the farm, is actually the strategic raw material behind high-end sweaters. What turned a tiny fiber into a symbol of luxury? And why does over 80% of the world's merino wool come from Australia? Do you want to discover the secret behind this miraculous transformation? Let's begin our space and time journey of Australian wool. We will trace each strand of merino wool from when it's still on the sheep's back in southern Australia, through the rigorous harvesting process to the processing line likened to a biochemical laboratory, and then reaching out to the world as a high-end fashion icon. You will see what makes Gucci, Prada, and Uniqlo all compete for the raw material from this very place. And if you think wool is just a soft byproduct from the farm, wait until the very end, because sometimes what seems most natural is actually a product more meticulously programmed than any technological item. Australia, a paradise for sheep farming. With endless grasslands and a mild climate, it's the dream home for millions of sheep. Australia proudly boasts over 68 million sheep, the majority of which are the renowned Merino breed, the soul of the wool industry, famous for their fleece as soft as silk, durable, and incredibly warm. 80% of the world's merino wool originates from Australia, affirming the country's unique dominant position. It's no surprise that Australian merino wool is the number one choice of fashion giants like Gucci, Prada, and Uniqlo, enhancing brand value. People often say that a merino wool sweater can keep you warm at minus 20 degrees Celsius, but can also help your body stay cool even at 30 degrees Celsius. This miraculous natural temperature regulation capability is the privilege that merino wool fibers offer, something that no synthetic fiber can match. Did you know that some sheep farms in Australia are so vast that they outsize entire independent nations? Take Anna Creek Station as a prime example, a veritable sheep city sprawling over an area of 23,600 square kilometers, larger than the entire country of Israel. Try to imagine getting lost in such a boundless sheep farm. You'd feel how small you are amidst vast nature. Each year, a mature merino sheep can contribute three to six kilograms of wool to the textile industry. With this enormous number of merino sheep, it's no wonder that Australia firmly holds the position of world's number one wool exporter, contributing a significant part to the country's export turnover and affirming its economic standing. To obtain high-quality wool, the wool harvesting process in Australia is carried out meticulously and professionally, requiring high technique and strict adherence to safety regulations and animal welfare. This is not just an ordinary harvesting job, but also an art and science to ensure both the health of the sheep and the excellent quality of the final product. Wool is usually harvested once a year, from September to November in Australia, which is considered the golden time for this task. The reason is simple. The warm spring weather helps sheep not to shiver from the cold after shedding their thick wool coats. The annual wool harvesting cycle not only helps maintain good health for the sheep, preventing them from overheating in the summer, but also ensures that the wool quality is always at its highest level, meeting the strict standards of the market. Australians have a rather humorous, but also interesting belief. If sheep are not shorn on schedule, they can turn into scary wool monsters. The story of Chris, a wild sheep found near Canberra in 2015, is a vivid example of this belief. After years of neglecting shearing, Chris had grown a record-breaking fleece weighing up to 42 kilograms, a mountain of wool large enough to knit about 30 warm sweaters. Some sheep shearers even whisper to each other that sheep overdue for shearing often become more temperamental, aggressive, and unruly than usual. In preparation for the important wool harvest season, sheep farms in Australia always implement a meticulous preparation process to ensure everything runs smoothly and efficiently. To keep the sheep's fleeces clean and free from mud, soil, or impurities, the flock is invited into a dry, airy area to sunbathe for at least 24 hours before entering the shearing process. Simultaneously, 
the sheep's diet is also strictly controlled. For 12 hours prior to shearing, the sheep are put on a diet, with food intake minimized as much as possible. The purpose of this is to avoid the sheep experiencing bloating, which helps the shearing process to be gentler and smoother. In addition, the health of each sheep is carefully checked. Individual sheep that are unfortunately sick or have open wounds will receive special care and treatment beforehand to prevent infection of the entire flock or causing further injury during shearing. Shearing is performed by professional shearers following a rigorous and non-harmful process for the sheep. Shearers begin the task from the sheep's belly. The wool in this area is generally of a more modest quality compared to other parts of the body and removing it first helps create more operating space. After that, the shearing process continues up to the back and sides. This is the golden land of the sheep's fleece, where the highest quality fibers are concentrated. Shearers are particularly careful and meticulous during the harvesting of wool in this area, ensuring that the inherent length and quality of the wool are preserved. Wool from the legs and head is usually shorter and of lower economic value. However, it is still harvested and utilized to maximize this precious resource. Can you believe that a skilled sheep shearer in Australia can shear 100 to 200 sheep per day with an average speed of only about 2 to 3 minutes per model sheep? This job not only requires masterful skills, but also incredible stamina and speed. Have you ever thought that this seemingly simple job actually holds such secrets of skill and speed? 37.90 seconds. That time may not even be enough for you to brew a cup of coffee, but for Ivan Scott, an Irish sheep shearer, it was the golden time for him to create a world feat. On April 4, 2010, Ivan Scott sheared a mature sheep in just 37.90 seconds in Ireland. Do you find this record truly impressive and unbelievable? Immediately after the sheep are shorn, a rapid and professional sorting process is carried out on the spot to ensure the quality and value of each type of wool. The fleece wool of the highest quality is considered the essence of the entire process and is often prioritized for use in the high-end fashion industry. Next, the belly and leg wool, although with shorter fibers and more impurities, still has its own value and is used in the industrial textile industry. Finally, non-standard wool due to soiling will be processed separately and may even be recycled, demonstrating the wool industry's commitment to no waste and environmental protection. Did you know that in Australia, there exists a truly unique sheep breed called the Wiltshire Horn? What's special about this breed is that they have the ability to automatically shed their wool seasonally without human intervention. Scientists have put forward an interesting hypothesis that the ancestors of the Wiltshire Horn sheep once lived in such harsh environmental conditions that they evolved the ability to shed their excess fleece to adapt to changing weather. What do you think about this sheep breed's special ability? It's truly amazing, isn't it? Join us as we explore the amazing journey of transformation of shaggy sheep fleeces to better understand the elaborate processing behind them. Raw wool, after harvesting, still contains natural grease and dirt. To be thoroughly cleaned, the wool is carefully washed in hot water from 77 to 82 degrees Celsius with a mild detergent. Next, they are bathed in a mild alkaline solution, which helps to separate the valuable lanolin without damaging the wool fibers. Miraculously, the lanolin extracted during this process is a rare natural wax, widely used in high-end cosmetics, such as lip balms and skin creams. Therefore, every time you use moisturizer, you may be using the essence of Australian wool. Lanolin is not only an ingredient in cosmetics, but also a versatile material in many industries. For example, it is used to produce waterproofing cream for high-quality leather goods and wood polishing wax. After undergoing a thorough bathing process, the clean wool enters the drying stage. Here, the wool is placed in large hot air dryers which use air heated by steam controlled by large fans to allow for more efficient drying. But the metamorphosis is not over yet. Next, 
The wool goes to the combing stage using specialized mechanical combs. The combs gently untangle, remove impurities, and arrange the wool fibers in a straight, smooth line, preparing them for the spinning process, while ensuring uniform quality for the finished wool. Finally, the wool is sorted by length, fineness, and color. This meticulous sorting helps create batches of products that are uniform in quality, meeting the diverse production requirements of the textile industry before entering the spinning stage. Are you curious to discover a secret that few people know about Australian wool? Australian wool has an incredible natural fire resistance. Unlike synthetic fibers that easily flare up when exposed to flame, wool fibers possess a special chemical structure that allows them to self-extinguish a fire if the flame source is no longer maintained. This is precisely why firefighters' and astronauts' clothing is often made from wool to protect them from the potential dangers of fire and high temperatures. Even NASA has researched and applied the miraculous fire resistance of wool to create protective clothing for astronauts in the harsh environment of space. To create miraculous wool spools from combed wool, we go through three main stages. Did you know that before soft wool fibers can transform into warm woolen fabrics, they must undergo an important stepping stone? That is the preliminary spinning stage. The purpose of this step is not only to create initial strength and elasticity for the wool fibers, but also to pave the way for sophisticated and diverse subsequent spinning stages, meeting all the requirements of the textile industry. Next, the wool is dyed, using both natural and chemical dyes to meet market demand. Finally, the wool is heat treated to lock in the color, increase softness, and stabilize the structure, making it ready for designers and weavers. Each stage plays an important role, contributing to creating high-quality wool products. Did you know that in Australia, many farms have existed for over 100 years? The wool industry contributes billions of dollars to the Australian economy and creates hundreds of thousands of jobs. However, it also faces many environmental challenges, such as the impact of grazing on land and water resources. Over 90% of Australian wool is exported, mainly to China, Italy, and India, for the production of high-end textiles. Australia is promoting sustainable farming methods, minimizing environmental impact, and ensuring animal welfare. Some factories in Australia have adopted biological wastewater treatment technology, which helps recycle up to 80% of the water used in the wool cleaning process, reducing environmental impact. With the development of technology, this industry is becoming increasingly modern. Initiatives such as automated shearing and bio-harvesting of wool are opening up new directions. What do you think about owning a sweater made from Australian wool? Perhaps after this article, you will look at your sweater in a completely new way. The Australian wool harvesting and processing industry is a long-standing field, but constantly innovating. From farm to fashion runway, each strand of wool carries with it an interesting and valuable journey. If you are interested in sustainability and fashion, consider products made from Australian wool, a resource that is both eco-friendly and top-notch. And don't forget to continue following our channel to discover more surprising and interesting things about the world of modern agriculture and golden stories from nature.